<laughs> yeah, um, it's good to be here with you. This is a great assembly. It's a very good assembly. Uh, in, in uh, March of 2009, uh, we were asked, uh, along with the staff of the CA, uh, a bunch of other individuals uh, from the peace uh, movement uh, to come out to uh, Calgary to join them in a demonstration or help organize a demonstration uh, for George Bush, his first attempt to test the waters after his second, at the end of his second term, his stolen term at that, both stolen terms. Yes. And when George Bush decided to step out, he was going to go to the hub of the oil industry, oh. and that was Calgary, Alberta. Yeah. And this, as we know, is Texas North. And he was yeah. doing that in Lubicon Indian Territory. Ooh. Okay. Now, of course, when he came there, uh, at that time, he was considered a credibly accused war criminal. A criminal, as you and I both know, right? that the war in Iraq and Afghanistan was all predicated on phony intelligence and doctored intelligence, yeah. uh, weapons yeah. of mass destruction, yeah. and it led to the deaths of millions of Iraqis, Afghanis, Shame. thousands of Canadian and, 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 and U.S. Shame. soldiers, men Shame. and women, and it led to the, un, uh, to the most awful? horrific forms of torture you and I have ever seen. Shame. I mean, shame on the depictions of the torture that was done and sanctioned by the Justice Department of George W. Bush and Dick Cheney. Shame. The whole Bush doctrine of endless war is what is motivating us as anti-war activists to stop this travesty yeah. Yeah. of righteousness and justice. As a criminal, criminally accused, yes, do your job, 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 To, to ask the Calgary police to arrest George Bush as the criminally accused crim war criminal. And Gail Davison had basically cited the Immigration Refugee Act in Section 35. Uh, I did not put anything in my hand. I went up to the police establishment three times, tried to talk to them, tried to counsel them, try to educate them on the law. As law enforcement agencies, the, the agencies should have listened to the law. He seen the reason, and, 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 and 700 people demanded that he be arrested. So we took the law as a criminally accused war criminal. The only thing I did is took all of Gail's papers, put them in a bag, held them over my hand, and walked through the police line. I said, after the third time, if you don't go and arrest him, I'm going to walk through that line and go arrest him myself. Yeah. And I did. I did break the line. Yeah. I broke the line. And was taken down by six police officers. Oh, oh, hey, 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 right job. The they broke my glasses. They took my nose. But when I stood up, I said, "Hey, I said, hey, uh, don't arrest me. Arrest Bush. Yeah. Arrest George Bush. Arrest George Bush. Arrest George Bush. Arrest George Bush." Arrest George Bush. Arrest him now. Arrest, Arrest him now. Arrest him now. Not tomorrow, but today. Arrest him today. Arrest him now. One final thing. One final thing. I ended up now. I went to the. I went to the city jail. I was beaten up. Shame. 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 And then the next morning I went before the court. I went before the court 
and they charged me with obstruction. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm saying, they're the obstruction. These, these guys are yeah. the obstruction. Yeah. They're, they're the obstruction. Yeah. They're the obstruction. It was the same thing in Calgary. I went before the court. They were going to give me a forty dollar plea bargain. What? What? And then they said forty dollars. If you plead guilty, forty dollars to obstruction oh, and your community service. I said, hold a minute. First of all, I ain't got forty dollars. Second of all, I already thought I did the community a great service. I thought, hey, we almost got that scumbag, and that's just the way I feel. I am a native New Yorker. New Yorker. Yeah. That's right. Okay, a final point. Final point. I went to get, I went, I said no. I'm not the criminal. George Bush and the He's whole the deal yeah. of the regime of the Bush administration serving the Wolf of Witch Doctrine on endless war are the war criminals. Yeah. So subsequently, I pled innocent. What else? I didn't look for mercy from the court. Good. I just pled my innocence, and I said I'm not going to allow you to criminalize me. He's the criminal, not me. Yeah. Eventually, after a year-long trial, whoa, who whoa. is the criminal? Okay. Yes. After a year of trial, I was I was sentenced to two years in jail. <laughs> two years. With a conditional discharge. Oh. What a joke. And I had to do a year on probation. And then I was given a thousand dollar fine to the charity of my choice. And I just happened to give it to the architects and engineers for 9 11 Trump. Yeah. We sent it down to them to get to the bottom of stuff. Because things don't look right there all the way around. That's right. So we got to keep it. If we're about endless. It's stopping war, we have to analyze endless war. Yeah. Why did they get us in that? Us anti-war activists have got to stop the war now. Bro, bro, bring our soldiers bro, home. Bro, bring our people home. Give us our rights as human beings. Yeah. Defend yeah. our rights. Yes. And right now, arrest George Bush. Thank you very much. Yeah.